Okay, now we will discuss the cross exchange rate with bid ask spread. So this type of question frequently appear in the CFA exam. For example, they may give you three countries currencies A, B, C, and then you are given that the exchange rate between A and B is 2.34-20. And A per C is 2.89 that's 30. Then you are asked, what is the B per C? The first thing you must remember is what is the meaning of this expression? A per B it means how much the currency A is equivalent to B. And these two number actually give you the bid and R spread. So the bid price will be 2.3400 while the ask price will be 2.3420. It means that if you are a dealer in the country A, then you are willing to buy currency B by paying 2.34 currency A. So this is what you are bidding. And the ask will be that if someone wants to buy B from you, that means the dealer is selling the B, then they ask people to give them 2.3420. So the bid price is always smaller than the ask price. And again, you can see that this is the direct quote because it is DC per FC. So similarly, again, this is direct quote. The dealer in country A is willing to buy, that means bid for currency C by paying 0 0.8900 currency A. But they ask people to pay for 0 0.8930 currency A to them in order to buy the currency C. So the question is, what is B per C? Okay, so how do we solve this problem? Let's start with the bid price offered by the dealer in the country B. So we have a dealer in the country B and this is you. So what happened is that the dealer will give you currency B and in return, you will give him currency C. And the rate between currency B and currency C is the bid rate given by the dealer. So what should be the price? Of course, it cannot be too high and it cannot be too low. It must be at equilibrium. And this equilibrium point is found by finding the arbitrary opportunity. Think of this. If the dealer charge you too much, for example, they ask you to give him a lot of C in order to give you B. What you can do is just go to country A and find dealer A. And you trade with dealer A. So dealer A will give you currency A. Well, you will give him currency C. So after this is done, now you have currency A. With currency A, you can go to another dealer and then tell him that you want to exchange for currency B. You give him currency A and he will give you currency B. So the point is, you have currency C and you want to get currency B. You can go to dealer B directly and then you give him C, he gives you B. But if he charge you too much, you don't have to go to him. You can bring the C and go to dealer A and get A first. After you got A, you go to another dealer and give him A and get B. So effectively, you got B by doing transaction with two other dealers. So if there is such an arbitrary opportunity, dealer B is not going to charge you too much. So in order not to have any arbitrary opportunity, it tells us that the exchange rate between B and C has to be related to the exchange rate between A and B, and C and A. If you look at this scenario, what is the exchange rate? The exchange rate between dealer B and you is actually the bid price of B per C. And how about for the transaction between you and the first dealer? In this transaction, you see that dealer A is selling A to you. So dealer A is actually bidding for C. And in the last transaction, 
this dealer is actually selling B to you but getting A from you. So this is also a bid price. But what are they bidding for? They are bidding for A. So for the first transaction, they are bidding for C. So as a result, we have to use A per C bid price. But in the second transaction, they are bidding for A. So we cannot directly use A per B bid price. In fact, we have to use B per A bid price. B per A bid price is just equal to the 1 over A per B ask price. So we can just write 1 divided by this number and this will be the bid price for B per A. So as a result, the bid price for B per C is going to be 0 0.89 divided by 2.342. And this is equal to 0 0.38. Okay, this is just to help you understand how to calculate the cross rate with bid R spread. But actually, you don't have to do this in the exam. All you have to do is just remember that if you are calculating the bid, you always use the bid. So bid times bid equal to bid. And if you are calculating the ask, you always use ask. We can easily calculate the ask price for B per C easily. So B per C is just equal to B per A times A per C, right? Because the A will cancel out. And B per A is just equal to 1 over a per B, right? But here we are talking about the ask. So it has to be the ask of B per A. But the ask of B per A is equal to the 1 over the bid of A per B. So this is equal to 1 over A per B bid is 2.34 and then times the A per C ask. A per C ask is 0 0.893 and this will give you 0 0.3816